And so what does that open up? Maybe I can jump? Looks like I can jump. No. What am I trying to do with this? Looks like maybe we have to go back down. Mm. Yeah, oh, there's another, is that another chest over there? Oh, sure. All right. Nope, too late. <laughs> you can move closer to it if you wanted to shorten the delay. Rage burst. I'm just going to use it because we can upgrade it. Pristine dust of the realm. Mystic dust with mysterious forces. I just got here. Mystical mysticism. Oh, what's over there? A guy moving not cool. Don't worry, dude. We're coming for you. We're, we're coming. I can't believe Odin and Freya were ever married. Love and hate are more closely intertwined than you might imagine. That's not true. For instance, Don't. <laughs> Odin hates the giants and they him. But Thor's own mother was the giantess Bjorgun, one of Odin's great loves. So Thor's half god and half giant? Weird. Once Fjordgun was gone, lonely ages passed for Odin. And as war with the Vanya raged, I could see what he really wanted beneath his bluster. And after no small amount of convincing, Freya agreed. For a while there, he really turned on the charm. He seemed happy. He seemed interested in making her happy. Mm -hmm. He granted her so many wishes, I can scarcely recall them all. The peace held, and I truly believed all had worked out better than I could have planned. But Odin's true face showed itself again in the end. Mm. Oh, he won Freya's trust, and she taught him some of her Vanir magic, another choice she would live to bitterly regret. Mm. Sadly, despite his wise counselor's best efforts to persuade him that peace was the only true path to stave off Ragnarok, Odin never let go of his obsession with Jotunheim. The taste of Vanir magic led him to new forms of experimentation and new levels of depravity. That take that as advice, girls. Boys will never change. He's different. He's changed. You know what? You could also just like be with somebody who's already different than that. So it's not your responsibility. Oh, it's bells. Yeah, it's not your responsibility. One, two, three. Hold on. Let me think about this. So that needs to come down first. Oh, hi! Press 
Joseph. Thanks. Thank you. I like that the. Okay. What was the point of this area? <laughs> the the chest. Oh yeah. With the bells. Uh, okay. So, oh okay. Here we go. Hmm. I can only hit that. All right. So we're gonna have to go fast. I guess. No. No, that can't be it because it's not letting me. It can't go while it's ringing. So oh, hold on. maybe we can go back around. No, 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 no. Maybe hold on. Go over to the other side and see if maybe you might be able to climb up on that. He's watching us. Look. Hi. Sorry. Climb up on this. Nope. I can't. You... See, I, that's just the mm. thing. I think there has to be a way to go around the other side, like make that wind thingy. Here, see? Oh. We're gonna have to make it so we can run around the other side. See? This oh. thing? So we need to find the uh, crystal that holds this in place. I don't see. We'll find it. There's got to be a reason why this right here is a spot. Yeah. Or we can just come back to it. It's no biggie. Yeah. I don't, uh, I feel a little stupid, but I don't immediately see how, how you solve this. Well, we'll find a way. Life, um, uh, finds a way. Life finds a way. There's got to be... A crystal to be found. There, there also might be some other way. Um... Because some of these are obviously made for you to be able to come back, you know? Oh, you can... You just need a crystal for the sap, but... That's what I was saying. I know, but we don't have... Like, I wonder if at some point you get to, like, carry around crystals or something. Okay. Well... Let's move on to the next thing so people don't get bored. Hop in, kiddo. Oh, you can get the gold stuff. There's something down there. Good job. Obviously, the marriage to Odin didn't last, but how did Fran end up a hermit in the woods? Oh, that was a singular piece of cruelty, even for Odin. As if the marriage wasn't punishment enough. Freya was better to him than he deserved. She stuck it out through all manner of indignity, all in the name of maintaining peace and safety for her people. But Odin's madness, his tyranny, his corruption of her magics, it became more than she could stomach, and at long last, she broke it off. Odin's wrath was fierce, and his curses upon her were more than she dared to fear. But her magic was so much stronger than his. After so much time together, he knew her vulnerabilities, and exploited them to craft curses she could never break. Oh, like not being able to leave Midgard. Worse still, he robbed her of her warrior spirit. Freya cannot fight, even to defend herself. No living thing may she harm by blade nor spell. In a world this belligerent, what choice does she have but isolation? Poor Freya. I guess if I was her, I'd spit in your face too. Aye, lad. <laughs> so would I. Wait, he didn't do it. No, but he, I think that... Oh wait, he, he was saying that he like coordinated the... Yeah. He was like, come on, just marry him. And she was like, I trusted you. Yeah. You were taken from this realm too early. You who walks among the living, my beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace, yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig's sather magic knows no bounds. 
If she can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy, I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death. If only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. It's probably just gonna be like, when you die, you get one resurrection. Take the sweet bones and spread them across the lake. Bring okay. me her bones, child. Gulvig will reward you. Okay, it'd probably so, just be like, if you die in battle, you can have one more chance. Be like, oh. Oh, I thought that that was, uh, like, reconnecting you with someone who died. Yeah, that seems like too good of a deal to be true. Yeah, good. so... Well, but... The special chisel is ahead past this gate. Oh, the special chisel. Yeah. Well, it could also just be like... Oh. Oh. oh, there's another guy over there, too. Yeah, let me just... Fuck off! Hey! Look if you wish, boy. I will not be distracted by this fool's errand. It's too good of a deal to be true. Well, it's also like, you know, reconnect with someone you've lost uh, when you die. Y you know? When you die, or? As in like, you know, it's like how sometimes those things are a trick. They're like, oh yeah, I'll let you talk to somebody who's died. The price is you dying. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> and they're like, monkey's paw, bitch. And yeah. Like, oh man. This chisel we seek, what is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <clears throat> there was a giant once named Thamla. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamur hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Hrimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Arimthur ran off into the night, feeling shame and regret. Bamur chased after his son, but in his emotional state, soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night, so far from home. Thor. And? What happened next? You'll see. Whoa. Thor killed him. Oh no. He fell in the village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. That's a big dude. Yeah. Well, he is a very giant giant. 
He's the biggest giant. I wonder if he's still alive. He's gonna like, oh god, that really hurt. Dangerous beast. We will take him down together. That that's like part of oh, this, hi. part of the game, because you spend a lot of time just fighting in regular combat like this. And whoa! Oh! I think you got him. I think you got him. <laughs> in the original God of War, the very first thing Where's you do the is the chisel. The tip of one, yes. A very, very giant chisel. You, uh, f the very first thing you do is rip somebody in half, Darn. like a human that being. Seem to do anything. Huh. Oh. oh, put it towards the ice. And then hit it again so it explodes the icicle. God, I know! Okay, God. sorry, just, I'm excited. No, I know. Oh, neat trick lot. Thanks. His idea. It's better you say it than not say it. <laughs> That's kind of cool, having just a little explosive crystal in your ring. I know, it's like little to everybody, to, to you, but everybody else is like, RUN! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's depleted now. Mm. Sorry, dude. Didn't, uh... Oh, oh, wait, okay. Yeah. Ooh. What happened to the survivors? Oh, Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. Mm. Uh, that lore stuff is just so cool. You just want your final breath to like do everything. Just kill everybody. We'll need something to get Fuck this you. <laughs> <laughs> what did they say his name was? Atreus. I, to me. I don't remember. I'm sorry. Just big old big ass giant. Whoa. Wait. We can look up what this Whoa. says later. So this is his armpit? What am I looking at? Oh, it's his hand! So see, this is just his hand. Yeah. I was trying to look up at... Wow. Whoa. Find the wow. tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. I wonder if we pull it out, he'll come back to life. You know? Yeah. Then we got a friend. Hostiles up ahead. I was trying Let's to see if away. I could look up more about the frost giant guy, but I can't, like I can't remember his name right now. So. <laughs> He's like a god giant thing, you know? I don't know that he was... A, a, well, gods and giants aren't really the same, but... I'm just saying, with these mystical people, you never know. Yeah. Stop it. You never know with these mystical people. Like, if you pull out, like, 
something from their heart, they come back to life or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Get over it. Cause he's a bad boy. Oh no, this is another one. Huh. So, are there two other things like in this area? Mm, probably. We'll find them. An all fine light crystal. Wonder what it's for. Wonder if it's to. Oh, there's a thing up there. Aha! No, come back! So, I think you gotta hit it right away. Okay. I got it. See? Alright, yep. we gotta find one that has triangle. Yep. Oh. Tree sap. What can we blow up with that? Well, here's the base for the crystal we saw. Oh, uh, maybe. Okay, hold on. I have an idea. Yeah, yeah. Get the crystal down. Oops, the wrong one. Yay! We're so smart. And then bring the guy over there and plug it in, and something happens. Whatever. Not you, but I know. <laughs> What's he doing? Getting all excited. He's playing on the ice. Don't break your elbow. Oh. Uh. Uh, <laughs> not looking forward to that. Let me just get prepared real quick. Oh, there's another thing over there that I can... Oh, it looks like a thingy. Okay, hold on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How we get that? Triangle. Yes! Got. Come on, apple, apple. Or horn. Oh, what's this? Legendary what's enchantment in increases damage of all axe throws by six percent. That's still pretty good. Yeah. This magical enchantment of 6%. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... We gotta... Requires vitality. Okay. Is 
Is anybody asking for your opinion right now, AJ? Because I don't think they are. Just saying. Just pointing that out. Oh yeah, uh, armor. We gotta upgrade this kid's stuff, so remind me next time we talk to that guy that we gotta get him new armor. Yep. Just because it's cute, not even for any real reason. <laughs> oh wait. Anybody. Of dust of the realms. So moving on. Ancient oh, blood. look at all this blood. I think I think it would be super cool if. Oh, they're like frozen nightmares. Got him. I think it'd be cool if they, if we pulled it out and he was like, oh fuck. Yeah. Head of Thamer. Thamer, look that boy up. I am. How are we getting down there? I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. Oh, no offense, brother, but I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. This should be entertaining. You know what I like about Kratos? Boy. He's not just a, like, a, like, just some guy. Um, I don't know if he, if, uh, all the entries that I'm finding about this guy are just from the God of War wiki, so I don't know that he's an actual historical figure. But, if you have information, please feel free to share it in the comments. One of the things I like about Kratos is that he's not just like a brawler. He's also pretty smart at figuring out how to- Oh god! Ah. Oh. oh god! Oh my god. For some reason, I just like have to yeah. get it. <laughs> Stop! 
stupid milk crates. There's no place for milk crates in my world. Milk drinker. I like milk though. It's supposed to be a way to say like, oh, you still feed off your wow, mother's breast. Wow, that was uh, something. Oh. That fight. <laughs> Here, catch. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? <laughs> there is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. I'm an interdimensional being, idiot. It's a yeah. trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so it sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh, it doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> Your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? <laughs> you let him touch this again. <laughs> Free upgrades. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, then. Someone's got a, a so great gift for this dude is Purell. Right after the one. Mm -hmm. He stepped between robes. Okay, now, shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go. I love how they just make it like a little like tap, beep. But it makes it seem like, you know, it seems as if. Upgrade our warrior baby. I'm going to blush. Do it now. Yeah, Kratos just does, it doesn't look right when he has a shirt on. Yeah, you gotta show them nips. And nips of war. <laughs> Aw, look how handsome he looks in that. Aww. Oh, that's good too. Ooh, health stone assist. Mm. Ooh. Now this one. Thank you for being appropriate size. <laughs> it's so cute. That's my lady boy. What shall it be? We should really get him, like, I would love it if for one of, like, the chest armor things, it was literally just two pasties with, l like, little spiked pasties. And it's yeah, like, chest just armor. Just in case. <laughs> just for the nipples. Oh, we can't forget you. And back to you. Oh, look at the next upgrade. It's all pretty. Fuck. Ooh. We gotta save up money, dude. Oh, wait, we can sell. else for you then? AJ, nobody cares. Are you trying to figure out where AJ's like hearing things from? Yeah. Who even knows? <laughs> Keeping that clean. And for you? We need hardened silver, whatever. What did we miss? Mm -hmm. Fine piece of work. If I say so myself. Remember, remind me to socket my stuff. To, oh, what? That Put sockets in. Oh. Amazing. Put sockets in. Slap you.
why is this hmm So these look like legendary ones, but people Ooh. seem to be very averse to his nipples being covered, so. Well, no, I think I'm just, for me personally, I'm just averse to the shirt. Like if it covers the nipples, that's like not. All the best ones cover the nipples intentionally. Look at this. Nipple mm -hmm. cover, nipple cover. Mm -hmm. It's almost as if they hate nipples. Mm. I feel like we're, I'm being oppressed. Now, there is something else to tell you. And that is. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. Okay, well, what is there to tell me? <laughs> huh. 